more Chevy trucks are in use than any others, and why they retain their traditionally high resale value. From bumper to bumper and from roof to rail, Chevy trucks are built tough to give more of that lasting Chevy value. So a lot of the old Chevy trucks, the interiors were um, nothing special. They had a lot of that utilitarian uh, type of feel to it. There's nothing to it. It's just a place for you to sit down. They didn't have headliners. They had the bench seat. Uh, and, and we really wanted to change that when somebody went to restore it. I mean, if you're going to drive it, why not treat yourself? So we really changed how people drive and, and feel when they're in their truck. TMI was started in 1982 by the four Tucinati brothers. Four brothers that started off making door panels in their dad's garage. Uh, they bought a VW Bug, uh, started repairing it, uh, couldn't find somebody to uh, replace the door panels, so they decided to make them themselves. You know, business kind of took off from there. So we now do everything here. We make the seat frame. We have a welding shop. Pour our own foam. We stitch the upholstery here. You're getting a, a completed seat, matching door panels, console, and dash for uh, the different GM, the Chevy. Uh, C10s, the square bodies, uh, and now rec more recently the OBS. And you can do a combination of suede, leather, vinyl, uh, perforated, non-perforated, so you're actually able to design your interior the way you want it. And all these things on a car that, that wasn't even a concept back then when those cars were designed. It's a car, it's a truck, it's more than both. The first short wheelbase, four-wheel drive runabout with full track, full width, full power. If there's some place to go, Blazer goes, because Blazer is for going anywhere. See your Chevrolet dealer now. When we were building the K5, K5s came with bucket seats, uh, a clunky uh, center console. When it came to the interior choice for the Blazer, we wanted to complement the exterior, um, and we went with a, a yellow vinyl contrast stitch along with a, a contrast tan suede. We did the VXR Pro Series seats, uh, matching rear seat cover for the factory seats, and the VXR design, it's a lot different than most of our designs. It has a pattern, again, the V, but it also has our signature grommets running through the middle to make it look completely custom. We did our molded door panels, center console. We did the custom dash pad. We also did a steering wheel to match. Looking to the exterior, we noticed when you remove the tops off, the bed rails just don't look complete. They don't match the doors. We came up with the solution with some bed rail caps that are made completely out of uh, molded fiberglass. Not only that, we have the uh, windshield caps. And so uh, one of the last pieces of styling that we did for the exterior was uh, we added a front splitter uh, that we also make here in-house um, out of molded fiberglass. When it came to the paint body work, we took it to our go-to guy at Johnny's Auto Body and we use the PPG root beer brown and champagne gold, which tied in perfect with the interior. On the Blazer, we did a set of 20 inch staggered American racing wheels, continental tires. We went with the bronze center and a satin lip to tie it in with the paint scheme on the truck. It has CPP two inch drop spindles in the front and a Rytec airbag system. Our 70K5 Blazer has a 5.3 LS1 motor and we dressed it up with a kit from Eddie Motorsports. For the exhaust, we did the Doug Thorley headers and a set of Magnaflow mufflers. The Blazer is a fun truck to drive. It's a very happy truck. You feel like you're driving something special.
You have to drive the 73 Chevrolet pickup, ride in it to really appreciate the feel of quality. Interior space is increased throughout with more leg room, shoulder room, and headroom. To enhance interior quiet, there's sound absorbing seat fabric over foam rubber. Seven inches of foam rubber cushioning on custom deluxe as well as Cheyenne models. And on Cheyenne's, sound deadening perforated acoustical headliner with fiberglass backing, lining Chevrolet standard double panel roof. Also incorporates a steady all welded one piece instrument panel with cockpit type instrument cluster providing greater seeability. So the 1973 uh, Chevy Square Body that DMI built for the uh, SEMA show a couple years ago features a whole new line of products that they had developed uh, specifically for the Square Bodies. And uh, Max Fish of Bio Customs had actually started this project, so a lot of the harder uh, suspension components had already been figured out or had already been worked on to start with. So one of the best parts about this truck, in my opinion, is the interior. Um, now, for this truck, it used to be a, a bench seat that was in there. They don't have any bolsters. With TMI seats, you get a little bit uh, of a bolster on the side with the Pro Classic seats. And we used our own Regatta Blue vinyl and gray and black plaid inserts, which is similar to the plaid styling that GM used back in the 70s. So this being a complete interior refresh, uh, we also added a set of Sport XR door panels, a matching dash pad, and sun visors as well. Then we had a TMI Billet Sport steering wheel, uh, one of our uh, German square weave multi-piece carpet kits, and a color matching shift boot, which hides a Genie shifter. They uh, shaved the tailgate and incorporated that into the roll pan, so it's now one piece. They started off with a combination of cavalry blue, which is actually a Toyota color, and then they went with a white insert, which pays homage to the original paint schemes that the square bodies came in. The uh, bed floor was actually replaced with uh, custom wood and then there's a single piece of plexiglass running down the middle which has custom etching on it so you can actually see the full suspension. like about the 88 and 98 trucks it's just the body style it feels kind of like a sport truck almost too when you lower it and then I started looking more at the interiors so we ended up working with TMI for the interior we actually are indeed the first OBS interior so now they're starting to produce those so we also did like a plaid insert and I was getting a lot of inspiration from a Volkswagen GTI and they have that red and black sometimes silver uh, plaid just trying to go for more of like a track truck almost. So when we decided to go with the coilovers, the big rims, the, the meshies, and then from there just snowballed down. We pulled apart the whole truck. We wanted to spray the firewall. So we put the LS motor in it, uh, KW coilovers. And then we also went with a Gibson muffler. And then we ended up making a full stainless uh, kit to the back. And we ended up shooting out the passenger side quarter. We did a little arrow. Chance of litter on the front of it. 